Yo, what is up, guys? Today I'm here with an epic, badass Beyblade battle. And pretty much, I'm just saying, it's badass because freaking, these are my favorite colors. You know, black and red are my favorite colors. So, yeah, um, we have two really awesome black and red themed Beyblades. And, yeah, so um, the first one is Meteo El Drago LW105LF. It's Hasbro's recolor, except it's kind of my custom version because um, Hasbro's Meteo El Drago originally comes with, like, a uh, non-painted... Meteo Fusion Wheel, but I decided to use the black and red one from the reshuffle set, the El Drago reshuffle set, and put it on this. So it's completely black and red, and it looks really, really awesome. And in the other corner, we have the Hot Fire Hell Kerbex, the different version of Hell Kerbex, BD145DS. And, you know, pretty much in the show, you know, Damien and Ryuga were both really, really strong. Jenga beat um, Damien, and yeah, so Ryuga and Damien never actually fought, and... Um, just by the trickle-down theory, Ryu goes stronger than Damien, honestly. But yeah, so we will see if that theory is true in real life. So, let's go. Uh, these are my food. Yeah, they're two of my favorite colors, and I have not used either of these Beyblades yet. So, we'll see how this goes. It's the debut Kerbex, and this new El Drago. Let's see who's going to win this sucker. Oh, come on, El Drago. Oh, she's circling around. Uh-oh. Oh, God, this is not good for El Drago. I feel like if Meteor Drago gets a nice smash attack, it can knock out Kerbex. You know, using, like, not only its smash, but also the left rotation push factor. But since it's not getting any hits right now, it's going to be basically a stamina fight. And both of these tips have, um, well, DS has more LAB than LF. But, you know, Meteor Drago has the capability of stealing spin as seen right here. Which is really, really awesome. But let's see who's going to win this. Honestly, can't predict it, but, you know. It's a pretty intense battle, and I just love both of these Beyblades. Their colors, ugh, their colors. I'm in love with the colors. I'm in love with those colors. I really am. They're, they're such nice colors. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, man, Kerbex took that by a little bit. Wow, that was surprising. I thought Kerbex was going to go down, but it didn't. So, first battle, Kerbex. Round two. Did it, did it. Yeah. And... Who's the bug enough? Oh, oh, snap, deflected. Holy crap, Kerbex. Bruh, what the hell is happening right now? Like, I, I know Damien's strong, but come on. Freaking, it shouldn't be this one-sided. Come on, El Drago needs to get at least one win. Oh, dang, that was a nice shot, though. Oh, will it get it? Will it get it? Ooh, it's using that left rotation push. Oh, can it knock it out? Can it knock it out? Oh, Kerbex is on the edge. Uh, it wasn't enough, though. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> wow, dude. Like, what? I can't believe Meteo El Drago didn't get at least one KO on that. Like, damn, those were some really nice shots, especially that first one. Oh, God. Uh oh, it's down to LED. Uh oh, I think DS has got this. Yep, it does. So, Hot Fire Hell Kerbex takes it 3 0. Oh my God. Right, you go. What the hell, man? All right, guys. So your winner in this battle was the Hot Fire Hell Kerbex BD one forty five DS. So this battle was a complete freaking shutout, like three zero, three zero on Medio El Drago, and I just was not expecting that. Like I didn't think it was gonna be that easily done, and like the first round, you know, won by outspin. The second round, it just completely deflected Medio El Drago, and the third round, it won by outspin again. And yeah, this Beyblade is just really, really awesome. It's honestly one of my favorite stock Beyblades. Just because, like, not only because it's black and red, but I just love Kerbex in general. You know, Hell Kerbex is just amazing, and I just love it. And yeah, like, it just, it's so good stock-wise. But you also have to give it up to Meteo El Drago. I mean, Ryuga is a boss. We all know that, you know. Um, I, I don't know. I think, honestly, maybe El Drago Destroy could beat this Hot Fire Hell Kerbex, but, you know, Meteo El Drago... I think compared to um, how Kerbex is lighter, you know, I just think Kerbex has, like, the weight, and plus it has, like, the boost disc, too, so it's kind of an unfair unfair advantage to Kerbex, but, you know, that's why Kerbex is so much of a boss, but, you know, Ryuga's just amazing, Meteor El Drago rocks, and just love the colors on this bay, so, so sexy. Alright, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and if you did, be sure to smash that like button down below, and let me know how I did. So, until next time, like this video, make it your favorite, and share a screw all that crap to subscribe, and this is Kimball signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I am out.